Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Logan McCoy, Culinary Innovation Chef at Nestle Professional. Today we're going to show some very exciting innovative products from the Sweet Earth brand. Uh, breakfast is obviously one of the most important meals of the day and today we're going to show you how to extend breakfast throughout the day and not only that but we're going to show you uh, three of our uh, new innovative products um, that we're using today. So we have a plant-based breakfast sausage link as well as a breakfast sausage patty. Uh, both of those are going to be soy-based proteins, but they have the flavor of traditional breakfast sausage, right? So they still have those flavors of fennel and sage, and they also have a little bit of sweetness from the brown sugar. Uh, and then we'll also move into bacon. Uh, bacon's one of my all-time favorites, and to have a plant-based option is excellent for menus. So today, this product is part soy protein and pea protein, as well as some wheat gluten as well. So we're gonna showcase some concepts, one of them being a breakfast sandwich on a English muffin with the breakfast sausage patty. We're gonna saute up some onions and garlic, uh, arugula and mushrooms, and then we're gonna top it with some cheese, get that nice and melty. Uh, and then we'll have uh, the plant-based sandwich to go. The second one that we're gonna make is a, basically a plant-based rendition of a cassoulet. Cassoulet is one of those really hearty, classic French dishes that just, it just has so much flavor, right? And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna replace a lot of the ingredients, uh, the meats specifically, uh, with our plant-based products. And this is gonna be great for showcasing it in a brunch style application. So let's get started. So first what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn on my saute pan. I'm gonna let that warm up for a second uh, while it's warming up. So uh, ideally with the breakfast sausage, it comes frozen, but what you would do is you would thaw it and then either on a saute pan or a flat top, heat it up to about 375, 400 degrees and then we'll just lightly oil it, and then we're basically just gonna cook it right on until it becomes nice and caramelized and uh, really aromatic. So we're gonna go ahead and drop that patty right on in there. Now for the breakfast links, you could also do the same. You could also cook it. Uh, they come frozen, you would thaw them, and then right into a hot pan and then start generating that color. Now what I like about the Sausage Links too is that it has that plant-based casing on the outside. Uh, so, and it's no different in a cooking application uh, than the traditional uh, animal casing, right? So it still caramelizes really well. It has that nice golden brown on the outside and it has a little bit of snap to it as well and you know, all characteristics that we look to uh, for breakfast sausage links. So we're just gonna let this get nice and golden brown. What I have here is I have a golden, uh, a, a toasted English muffin. Uh, we have some arugula. We have some sliced cremini mushrooms as well as some onions. And then a little bonus, we're gonna throw in our plant-based cheese as well. So we're just gonna take a look. We're gonna see where we're at a little bit longer. Throw in a little bit more oil. Now don't be scared to use oil. Uh, these products, they benefit from the added and abundance of oil, especially when it comes to caramelizing and getting that nice golden brown color. All right, so we went ahead, we flipped this over, we got it nice and golden brown. Give it a little press too. Um, and it's gonna give you that nice caramelized outer ring that you really look for uh, when cooking breakfast sausage patties as well. So what we're gonna do right here is we're just gonna go ahead, we're gonna add our cheese right to this. And then we're just gonna push this off to the side. And we're gonna let that heat kind of melt that cheese as we cook the other vegetables. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna add some onions and some mushrooms right to this pan. 
And then we're just going to let these saute up for a second. Now the cheese is starting to get nice and melty. And what you can do as well is you can also put a lid on it. You can hit it with a little bit of water, and it'll still give you that almost American cheese style kind of melty uh, flavor, texture. Delicious. OK. So we're going to go ahead. We're just going to take our sausage patty off. We're just going to let it rest on the cutting board while the rest of the vegetables cook. And again, we're not looking to cook these for too long. We still want to have a, a nice uh, vegetal crunch to the products as well. And the other thing that I like, too, is that the, the flavors and the juices from the sausage patty that sage, that fennel, that brown sugar kind of leaches into the pan a little bit as it cooks out. And cooking the vegetables right in there absorbs all that flavor right back in. All right, so now that those are starting to get a little aromatic and wilted, we'll add in our arugula. And you can check out our, uh, our cheese right here. And then we'll just hit this with a little bit of salt and black pepper. And just keep giving this a little stir. If you want, at this stage, you could hit it with a little bit of white wine. You could hit it with lemon juice or, uh, or even just water just to kind of speed up the the process of wilting and, and, and getting the vegetables to where they need to be. All right, so everything looks good. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off. So now that we've got everything cooked and ready to go, so onto the English muffin, what we'll do is on the base, we'll just spoon some of this arugula, mushroom, and onion mixture. right on the base and then we'll put the sausage patty right on top and there you have it there is your breakfast sandwich but it could go throughout the day right extending breakfast beyond breakfast uh, this is a very uh, very easy concept to produce for things like brunch or lunch and dinner as well. All right, next we're gonna move into the cassoulet. So again, this is a stew of beans. This is gonna be, have inclusions of our breakfast sausage links that we're gonna get nice and golden brown. We're even gonna throw in some of our mindful chicken and we baked off and cooked some of our uh, bacon already and we're just gonna crumble that up and then we're gonna put it in there as well. So over medium high heat, I'm gonna go ahead and Add some oil. Now I'm going to chop these sausage links into about fourths. And then as soon as the oil shimmers just a touch, we're going to go ahead and add these right on in there. Perfect. And what we'll do is we're also going to add in the mindful chicken. And then we're just going to let those get nice and golden brown. And for this application, I wouldn't really move the product around too much in the searing stage. You really want to get that nice golden caramelized color. Uh, so I would just let those get nice and golden brown. Uh, again, don't be shy with uh, the type of fat that you use. These products really like and uh, take on the color really well. But what I love about the chicken, the mindful chicken in this application as well, is that it takes on flavors so greatly. So what we're going to do in this application is we're really going to build these flavors, right? So we're going to start with our aromatics. Any type that you would start a stew with, we're gonna start with the aromatics. We're really gonna start building up those flavors, 
We've got onions and garlic, celery and carrots, uh, so our mirepoix mixture. We're gonna hit that with some white wine, mushrooms, crushed tomatoes, uh, and some white beans. And then for the topping, we made like a basil or herb uh, breadcrumb. So it's gonna be very flavorful and delicious. All right. So now that the proteins in here are becoming nice and golden brown, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start building up those flavors. So we're gonna start adding in our garlic and our onions. We're gonna add in our celery. And we're also going to add in our carrots and mushrooms. Just throw it all in there. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is really just gonna start cooking this down. We really wanna get those mirepoix vegetables and that garlic to really come through and, and be nice and aromatic and start building the flavors in this dish. So again, some of the reasons why I love the breakfast sausage links, especially the casing, uh, it still gives you that snap uh, that you would get with breakfast sausage, and it's gonna be no different than in an application like this, uh, where it's gonna be nice, it's gonna give you the, the nice fennel and sage flavors, it's gonna complement this dish really, really well. And it's a perfect brunch dish. Okay, so now that we got those all sauteed, we're gonna go ahead and add in some white wine. We're gonna get all that nice flavor off the bottom of the pan. We're gonna reduce that. That's just about reduced out just until it's au sec or, or uh, almost dry. So then what we'll do is we'll add in our white beans I like navy beans uh, just because I cut the vegetables about the same size as the navy beans. I like to try to keep uh, those ingredients all relatively the same size just for cooking purposes. So we're gonna let that go. Now we're gonna add in our crushed tomatoes. We're gonna heat that up. And then we're also going to add in our vegetable stock. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring this up to a simmer, and then we're gonna let this cook for about 15 minutes, just until all the flavors come together, everything's nice and hot. We're gonna season it with a little bit of salt as well as a little bit of pepper. And then we're gonna bring it up to a simmer. All right, now that we've already seasoned it and it's come to a simmer, we've let it go for about a few minutes. Uh, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna add in the bacon bits. So I just took our plant-based bacon, I baked it off 400 degrees, uh, cooked from frozen for about seven to nine minutes, and then I let it uh, just rest for a little bit and then I just crumbled it and then what we'll do is we're gonna add that bacon right on in here perfect I'm gonna turn the heat off and then we're gonna get ready to plate so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna grab a spoon we're gonna mix all of this together one more time get that bacon in there what I love about the bacon is that it has that smoky uh, flavor to it very authentic to uh, the animal product of bacon. Um, great for dishes like this to kind of give that depth of flavor and, and an added bonus uh, to your dish as well. So we're gonna go ahead, we're just gonna plate this up right in here. The aromas are incredible coming out of here from the vegetables, the breakfast sausages, the smokiness of the bacon, uh, the tomatoes, it's really coming through. 
So we're going to throw in a little bit of that extra sauce. Just like that. And then just to finish, what we're going to do is just we're going to put a little bit of breadcrumb. And this is going to be nice just because it's going to add that little bit of texture. Um, and what we did was we took some day-old bread. We crumbled it up with some roasted garlic, some fresh basil, and called it a day. And then just because we're talking breakfast and brunch, we're just going to go ahead and throw a fried egg on there real quick. We're going to take our fried egg, and it's going to go right on top. So there you have it, a brunch or breakfast style cassoulet with breakfast sausage links, bacon, and mindful chicken, all from Sweet Earth. Delicious. Now, what we're going to do is I'm just going to run through a couple of uh, dishes that we've already have prepared for you. So here we have Eggs Benedict, the perfect application to use for the Sweet Earth breakfast sausage patty. Uh, there's some wilted arugula, very similar to the dish that we did with the sandwich, the hollandaise, the poached egg, the home fries. It's just comfort at its best and very go-to. Two more, very traditional. Pancakes, breakfast sausage, powdered sugar, fresh fruit, can't go wrong. And then the all-American breakfast, talking bacon uh, from Sweet Earth, some eggs, home fries, and some toast. So thank you very much for coming by and look forward to seeing you all soon.